I'm about to show you how to transfer saves and games from one Nintendo Switch to another. In my case, I have recently purchased an OLED model and I've already gone through the initial setup process on it. But now I want to move data from my old Switch onto it and that's done by transferring a user. The new Switch has one user already set up, the old one has two users set up. What I want to do is transfer the one named Dreamcast from the old one to the new one, since that one has the majority of my game progress, and it's the one I made purchases with. Note you cannot merge users, you can only move them back and forth between switches. Before this process can be done, I have to plug the power cords into each of the switches. It does not let me do the whole process if I don't do this. I also have to run the latest system update on both of these switches, or else, once again, it doesn't let me do the whole process. To check for a system update, go to System Settings, and then System on the left, and System Update on the right. To do the transfer, I have to get both switches to display this screen. To get there, I select System Settings, select Users on the left, and then on the right, select Transfer Your User Data, and then I'll hit Next, and then Next again. As mentioned, I need to do that for both switches. Now I need to specify a source console and a target console. The old one needs to be the source, the new one needs to be the target. Even if the boxes are already highlighted correctly, I need to still select them. I'll start with the old one, I'll select source console, and I'll pick the user I want to transfer, which is Dreamcast. Then continue. This is as far as I need to go for the moment, but note it says I need to put the switches close together. On the new one, I'll select Target Console, then Sign In, and I'll click the first selection since I want to sign in with my email. I'm using the login information for the Nintendo account that is linked to that user called Dreamcast. This will allow me to re-download the stuff I bought, a process I'll show you in a few minutes. I filled in the information, and I'll select Next. It has detected the other switch, and the old switch now has this on the screen. I'll select Transfer. It acted like it was going to take a long time, but once that gauge started to move, it went to 100% within a minute. The old switch indicated it was done, and all I needed to do on it was select End. But the new switch said finishing for a few minutes, and then it also gave me the end button. Now at the top left of the screen, I see my Dreamcast user has been added to the new device, and I see it's gone from the old one. I am not done yet. If you look at the old screen and compare it to the new one, it looks like my games did not come over. And that is true. Only save data and preferences came over. All games and downloaded content needs to be reinstalled on the new system. Also, screenshots and movies don't come over. I don't have any, but if you do, you can just transfer those onto an SD card on the old system and then pop that card into the new system and there you go. Here's how I go about reinstalling my games. Starting with physical ones, I'm going to pop the cartridge into the new system and that'll create a thumbnail on the dashboard. However, if I click the plus button, it says that the game is only version 1.0. To get the latest version, I need to select Software Update, and then Via the Internet. There's now a status bar on the thumbnail as it downloads that. Now I'm going to check to see if my progress within the game has been maintained. I'll open the game, select the user I had that progress on, and then on this vehicle selection screen, I can tell that I still have the stuff that I unlocked before. So my saves have made it over. I also bought DLC for this game, and I'll check to see if that's still there. And no, it isn't showing, because when I try to select one of the DLC tracks, it says I need to buy it, basically. It doesn't know that I already bought it. What I have to do is go into the eShop, select the user that I bought the DLC with, 
And then in the upper right corner, I'm going to select my user profile and then select re-download on the left. On the right, it'll show everything that I've ever bought in the eShop with that user. And one of those is the DLC for the Mario Kart. I'll click the cloud symbol beside it to re-download it. While I'm here, I'm going to re-download Snipper Quips, which is an entire game. Now I see that Snipper Quips is on my dashboard and it's downloading. And when I go into Mario Kart, I can now see the DLC that I had. So everything is good. I hope you found this video useful. Have a great day, everybody.